Hello and welcome to the short demonstration on how to turn something like this in your articulate storyline uh, into something that can be found on the web. Like this, uh, an active uh, SCORM that they can uh, use and you can put into your, uh, your e-portfolio without having to sign up for uh, the articulate storyline, all that stuff there. So, And you can just do it through your GitHub. Uh, you have to have a couple of things. You have to have a GitHub account. Uh, so go to uh, github.com, maybe it's just like saying that word, but, and then you also have to have the desktop version. I've got another video on how to do that, but um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky with Articulate Storyline because there's an extra step that's a bit challenging. So let me just walk through the uh, step on, um, through Articulate Storyline here. So I have this great uh, demonstration. I just took this from their uh, website there. And then I'm going to publish it. And I'm going to publish it, uh, let's call it uh, Articulate, for example. And uh, when it comes to reporting and tracking, uh, click on reporting and tracking and just, uh, yeah, click click on tracking. I think, yeah, select uh, select tracking. I know if it's LMS integrated, uh, when you use GitHub, it's not connected to a to a reporting system. So through using Captivate, uh, it comes up with an error. So you have to turn the LMS off. But if you just select tracking, use tra use uh, track using number of slides, and hit OK, then that's fine. And yeah, LMS score 1.2 is still active, so that's OK. And the tracking should be slides viewed right there. And Flash on HTML5, you probably want to get rid of Flash anyway, just uh, we're, we're totally getting away from that. So just uh, slide it on over to HTML5 only. I mean, you can have Flash as well, but we're trying to wean ourselves off that. And click on Publish. So now, if you uh, open the, all the files, you have them on your uh, wherever it publishes my articulate projects. So you go into the GitHub desktop. So after you download the GitHub desktop, we go into there. I already have it open. You may already have uh, another um, uh, another project open. I'm just going to go to a file, new repository, or it may come up on the list as new repository. But uh, yeah, you want to go into uh, create a new repository. And we'll call this one the same to Articulate. And we'll just name it, that's fine. So create repository. So of course I've got nothing in there right now. And we want to carry over everything from what was just created here. But we can't have story.html. We have to have index. .html. So rename that to index.html. That's what Adobe did, uh, Captivate does automatically. It doesn't use story.html. And once that's renamed, just uh, yeah, control A, copy everything from here, and then go into where um, GitHub created the folder. And again, that's in my other video there. You can link to that. Uh, but I called it Articulate, I believe. Should be empty except for the Git. Yeah. So just paste everything in here. Now when everything is in here, uh, I'll go back into into the, um, yeah, you can see it's populated. So summary is required. I'll just call it articulate again. Articulate. Yep. And then I can just uh, select commit to master. And one more step here. So basically, that's the only thing you have to do. You can follow the other video, but I might as well go through the whole thing here, too. You'd have to add a new branch called gh-pages, github-pages, and create that branch. Oh, did I not put a summary? I think I already put a summary in there. And that's basically it. So click on Publish Repository and select keep this code private. You don't want to do that. Uh, you want to make it public on the internet. Publish repository. 
And wait a second, shouldn't take too long, it's only one page as an example. Right now you have to go to the online version and I'm just going to refresh here and it should pop up on the list here. There's Articulate. And if I click on that, Articulate should be down here uh, under Settings on the right hand side. Click on that and zip on down and we should have a, yeah, right here, your site is published. So if I click on that, I have the score blah, 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 here. And it's all, all usable. You, you, can, you can demo it and uh, people can walk through it. And you can, um, yeah, and it, yeah, it works just as a regular score would. So what I did, I just embedded the picture. I did a print screen and I copied, I copied everything, and then uh, print screen. And then if you clicked on it, uh, you just copy that hyperlink over, and people would uh, would go into the uh, the site here. So you just copy this hyperlink to the the image, and that should. Do it, uh, regardless of how big the uh, the storyline is, the the e-learning e score is. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. It uh, seems to work on all of them. So if you have any questions about that, you can just uh, yeah send us another comment there.